Okay guys, uh, I'm doing a voiceover on this video and I'm fixing to show you the well here but I'm doing a voiceover because uh, it was too windy for you to actually pick up the uh, audio. So here what I've done is I've went ahead and built a shelter and put dirt all around it to help uh, withstand the flooding rains that are coming. Uh, I had mentioned it in the last video that we were supposed to get flash flood for a couple of days so I went ahead and spent about 450 bucks to get the metal and uh, wood to toss this thing together just to keep the rain off of it which obviously bankrupted me so uh, actually at this point I'm not sure if I'll get the well completed or not uh, because of a uh, money situation but nevertheless uh, if we're gonna come on around here and let you see the inside of it it's just four posts a couple two by sixes on the top this right here is the dirt that I've, I've dug out of there I haven't had the tractor over here to get the, the dirt out yet, so you get to see the actual pile of dirt. This is uh, the rope that I'm using on a pulley system. It comes up the pole. I use those two little joist hangers to hold it. It goes to the pulley, which is holding a bucket, and then it goes on down. I lift it up and down with the, with the yellow rope. Down here on the right, if you look over to your right, you'll see a white rope. It goes, uh, it's tied to the bucket on the bottom, and it comes up here to the 2x6, and it's tied off. That way, uh, when I lift the bucket up, I can grab a hold to the uh, white rope and pull the bucket out of the hole over to where I'm standing. Uh, but that's all you would do, just make you a, a pulley. And guys, do not do not dig these wells uh, during the rainy season, uh, no matter what. Even if you need to know where the drought level is, it's, it's just, it's absolutely not, it's not worth it. Uh, it just collapses and collapses. Uh, at this point, the well is about, I believe it's about 12 to 13 feet deep and here in a minute I'm going to walk down in here uh, to give you an idea because uh, I, th I thought maybe if I got down into the actual dark dark spot it may lighten up enough for you to be able to see but it doesn't really turn out that way but we'll go down in the well here and um, it's, it's a little nerve wracking actually as you go in because the edges of some of the steps had collapsed off with the uh, rain that we had the little bit of rain that we had gotten before I built the shelter uh, now you're looking down in there, it's about 12 to 13 feet deep and I'm going to go on down farther where it gets dark and you'll be able to n not really see the water but see the reflection off of the water. If you look real carefully you'll see uh, you'll see the, the the reflections on the water. Right now it's a, I'm about uh, standing where I'm at right there, I'm about my head's about two foot below ground level and I stand about five foot six, five foot seven tall. Now it's getting really dark, but we're gonna look at the water here, and if you look, I'll put a mark. There's there's a reflection of the water right there. And you'll see like a reddish reflection here in a minute as well. Uh, I've, hit, I've hit water and uh, a little over 13 foot. And I'm just, that's all I'm trying to show you here is that I've already hit water, and I gotta go on down deeper. But, it, like I said, I thought maybe it would lighten up if I got in the actual dark area. Now we're just going to take a look upwards, and believe me, it's a lot higher up than it looks. It's about seven, six or seven feet above my head right now, where I'm standing. And, and I can step on down farther, but down farther is water. And I've got rubber boots on, but it's about a little over a foot of water. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start working my way back out of the out of the well itself, up the, up the steps again to get back out. But guys, if you're going to do these wells, make sure you do it during the drought season, wherever you live, or uh, the the time of year when you get the least amount of rain. And uh, if you're in an area where uh, even in your least amount of rain you still get quite a bit of rain make sure you build a shelter over the top of it before you get started Okay. Uh, the way I've got this structure built it'll get rid of 90 percent of the rain the problem is the rain will be able to soak into the ground come under the ground and into the well and at, in that process it'll collapse the edges of the well until I get the rock into the well so as I continue to dig down deeper here we're just at the top again looking down here but as I continue to dig down deeper <coughs> into the water and everything, if it rains, and they're talking flash flooding coming up here, 
if it does rain then we've got a problem because it'll go under the shelter here this that's the dirt I dug out of it and if here's the shelter over to the left there I think I pan over toward it but anyway over toward the uh, the water will go down the shelter hit the dirt and the problem is it'll go under the ground into the until it hits the clay and then it'll ride it it'll go across the clay until it hits the the well and when it does that's going to cause uh, collapsing to happen kind of like a sinkhole so I'm gonna every time it rains I'm gonna have to come out and clean out any kind of uh, collapse that takes place because I, I should have built the shelter before the well got started okay guys I love you guys peace be with you all Shalom